Sagittarius, Sagittarius. A, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Oh, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. A, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Ow, what's up, Saggy baby? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Sagittarian for mid-month August? <laughs> Are you guys not knowing if you should just throw the whole shit away? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, boo, hey, if this is first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader right now on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. All right? To the uh, new subscribers, hey, family. Welcome to the family, y'all. We're the dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss, though. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We grow, we share, we love, we evolve. Positive vibes only over here. And we cuss. <laughs> okay, so you guys, um, to the returning subscribers, hey family, was y'all waiting on me? Did you miss me? Hmm? Hmm? I'm going to tell y'all puppy ass, your fellow Sagittarian told my damn uh, cord up yesterday. I ain't know. He, listen, yesterday he was on the way up out of here. Puppy ass is going to have to find a new home. But I come down, I took a deep breath. I said, it's the reason why that happened. Sagittarius, are y'all fucking shit up before it get great? Hmm? Hmm? All right. I'll get the bet on your ass. You already know. Listen, uh, this is not going to resonate with everybody, you guys. Leave what does. Well, take what does and leave the rest. If that motherfucker shoot too big, don't try and put it on. Your ass going to fall. The fuck? Who does that? Also, if you need the personal reading, that information can be found within the description below. Hit me, shoot, look, shoot me an email, let's get it popping, we're going to schedule it. If you ever had a reading with me, then you know it's going to be scheduled within the next 24 to 48 hours from the time that you hit me up. We don't do long waits. I'm an Aries. I don't have a, lot of, a whole lot of patience for waiting. So I treat everybody with that same energy, okay? So with that said, you guys, thank you for the love, the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. Thank you so very much. I truly appreciate all of y'all. Y'all my babies. Y'all been literally tearing my personal reading sector the hell up. I love y'all so very much. Y'all makes me laugh. If you didn't know, Sagittarius, y'all really warms up the <laughs> warm up my whole inside from the bottom of my soul because y'all is funny as hell. All right? So let's get it. This will be for the mid-month of August for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers, which y'all know is the ass for the sign of Sagittarius. Let's get it. We're going to start with the intuitive messages for you guys. You guys got experience, fear of change, just allow, unexpected travel, Regret, reconciliations, compromise, prophecy, ancient studies, life path, confidence, peaceful times, Hitler research. Who was researching Hitler to, to the point where it came up in my damn intuitive message? Sagittarius shit. Synchronicity, collaboration, clarity through dreams. Removing yourself. Throw the whole situation ship away. Abundant investments. Apologies. Obsessive thoughts. Just go. Sudden moves. Karma. Transmuting family cycles. Catalysts. Past life. All right, so this is what I got for you all. Let's talk about it. Overall energy around the reading is the five of clubs, okay? Um, to clarify that, we got the eight of swords. So again, sad you don't know if y'all want to throw the whole situation away. Am I going to over? If I, am I, am I going to stay in this place of overthinking a situation that I feel as if it's really not even bringing any type of growth to my life and holding on to it is only harming me versus helping me? And some of you all have opportunities of the new. So you just like, am I going to throw the whole situation shit? Am I going to throw the whole shit away or not? Period. All right. So let's get it. First angel message you guys got is take your power back. Archangel Raziel, use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings into your life. Only focus on your intention, Sag, when you're speaking what you're speaking. Speak the truth and speak what the hell you feel. Feel unapologetic about it because you are being divinely guided. Some of you guys are simply just a mere vessel to be to be catalyst to be a catalyst to someone's awakening. Okay. 
Some of you all also may be someone's trigger when it comes to some type of abandonment issue that they need to still work out when it well work out when it comes to healing their inner child. I feel as if sad you're in a situation where you've done the work, another person has not done the work, and you need to snatch your damn power from their ass, hit the deck, and run like hell with the fastest Nikes in your closet. Okay. Others of you have some type of confirmation, whatever it is that you've been praying for, whatever it is that you've been um, asking your ancestors to guide you to. Some of you guys are going to see have some type of confirmation uh, via a rainbow. OK, others of you, you may be connecting or there may be some type of attachment to uh, like a, a prominent male figure who could have passed away. This could be a father. This could be a father figure. This could also be a brother. But I feel strong father, grandfather vibes here. OK, you need to know that this person is guiding you and assisting you during this time. Some of y'all may be finding white feathers. You blessed, Sag. You blessed. There's a need for you guys to be very pro, be very proactive. OK, as well as actively use your throat chakra during this time. Some of you guys are suppressing things. You, you're thinking a whole lot, but you ain't saying shit, even though your thoughts is about do I go? Do I stay in this space of not knowing, unknowing? Or do I release that whole damn vibration and just jump out there and find out? And if it's going to be something that I don't, if it doesn't go in my favor, well, at least I know. At least I'm not sitting in this space of indecision, indecisiveness, confusion, anguish, uh, anxiety, paranoia, you know, over something that's infinitely, infinitely my space to take the lead on. Okay. But some of y'all, some of y'all is indecisive on if you just want to up and walk about your damn job. Some of y'all may be quitting the job during this time and you're being divinely guided to do so because that place has become a burden for you or a blockage. Some of y'all got issues when it comes to letting go. You hold on to shit. And that, whole, that shit that you holding on to is starting to get real uncomfortable, ain't it? Okay? So Spirit is saying, let that go and let go the need to control the way situations are like being, the way situations are unfolding in your life. Some of you are, you're resisting, you're completely resisting letting go of cycle because it's going to force you to, one, not have control, but force you to actually compromise with another person, not control. It seems as if that is the missing element of what's been going on in your life when it comes to whatever it is that you're overthinking about. And some of y'all are going to choose to say, fuck it, I'm done, done, and throw the whole cycle away and walk into a brand new cycle. In doing so, you do take your power back by letting the situation go because some of y'all are dealing with uh, air signs as well as earth signs, I feel, that has put you in this space of, I don't even know what the fuck you want from me. What do you want? What do you want? That's what I feel like y'all want to say. Next angel message. Y'all know I'm goofy. Next angel message I got for you guys was compassion. Archangel Zadkiel. Soften your heart with respect to the situation and all the people involved, including yourself. I immediately heard family ties, also her children. So some of you guys could also be dealing with the mother or father of your children and you're kind of indecisive on how you want to, because I feel like someone's indecisive on how a situation is going, how it's going to go or how it's coming. Okay. I definitely feel like some of you all are needing to go within yourself and connect with your heart space and allow you to trust, to trust the situation and how it unfolds without there needing to be a need to try to like... How can I put it? Spirit is saying like release the idea of like expecting an outcome or an attack or like an attachment to a particular outcome. So if things does not go that way or things don't go exactly as planned, you don't sit up and have to hold this confusion of what you did wrong, or what you could have done to make things change, or what thing what you could because somebody has intentionally put you in this space for some of y'all, okay? Or you've done it to another person. But I feel like it was a double edged sword, okay? And for some of you all, you're needing to let go of the control and move towards the idea of compromise, compassion, consideration instead. Some of you all are walking around with this big ass wall, even though you want to be loved, Sag. You feel as if, if the thing is, you feel as if people are, are you want, some of y'all need, need to go love a psychic, okay? Because some of y'all need to, some of you guys, it's like you expect for a person to just know what's wrong, just know how to have this compassion, but you're not communicating about what it is that you actually need. You give, a, you give certain, you give certain vibrations to situations and you're expecting a return on them, but 
for some of y'all, you're dealing with somebody who don't even know how to return that. So it's just like, you know, you're coming to that conclusion and you're just like, well, listen, I'm going to take my power back before I just really lose myself in this situation. And I'm going to hit the damn road, Jack, because I ain't got time for that shit. And it's confusing as hell and it's bringing my vibes down and I'm about over it. Okay. So let's see where my, uh, where my babies are at. Spirit, what's going on with your mental space? Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? My undercover over love. Sad song. I'm a recovering undercover over love. Recovering from a love I can't get over. Right. Recovering undercover over lovers. That's by Erica Badu. Y'all go check that out. Yes, the queen herself. Uh, the queen herself. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? What can they expect? Where are they in the mental space right now from now to the end of August? What messages do you have for my beautiful Sag? Trying to take a chance, Sag. Some of y'all damned if you do, damned if you don't. Change starts actually within you, okay? So some of y'all could be seeing five, five, five a whole lot. Jump off the motherfucking cliff. What you scared for? What you scared for? Others of you, yes, it's about actually going along with the experience. You, you're going to be illuminated along the way with just taking a damn chance. Some of y'all just have to do with you traveling. Some of you guys are kind of, some of y'all want to actually leave and go start over somewhere because you feel as if where you are, things are not working for you. And I definitely feel like you're being divinely guided to do so. But for some of y'all, you're worried about, well, what about Sarah, Jim, Janie, Susan, uh, Auntie Kim? What's going to happen to them? Can God do God's job for you, Sagittarius? Okay? For some of you all, you're clinging to the old ways of doing things, the way the people have projected their way of doing things onto you. And it's very fucking burdensome. Okay? It's very, I feel like, spiritually, emotionally, and mentally exhausting. Some of y'all are exhausted from holding on to past past hurts, past people. Who did what? Why they did it? What did I do? Some of you guys have to understand that you are not the problem at all. This person has a lack thereof. And for some of you all, there's, there's totally trying to come to a situation, but you are another person refuses to mentally release this situation you want to hold on to it and that's preventing that's preventing the actual changes and i feel like it's preventing the changes of a flow like there's a flow trying to happen but it's going to happen with compromise that Okay, and I feel like for some of you all, you feel as if no, 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 it's gonna go the way I want it wanted to go because for some of y'all, you want someone to feel how you felt, but it's mentally exhausting to you. And for some of you all, this is about you limiting yourself based on other people's beliefs on what it is that you how you should be moving. Some of y'all have huge dreams. Some of you guys want to open up. Um, Boutique. Some of you guys want to open up uh, clothing stores. Other of you want to open up um, art galleries, things of that nature. Some of you all want to be financial advisors. Some of you all want to travel and you actually want to be bloggers. Um, some of you all want to be uh, people who go to different, um, what, what do they call them? Some of y'all have, some of y'all want to be gurus. But I feel like holding on to a way of life that does no longer it no longer works for you versus allowing yourself to live and experience and understanding that everybody way don't work for you so some of y'all have just really just shut the fuck down during this time just like no i'm over it i'm shutting down you're going into your own little bubble in sag's bubble okay but i feel like it is like no sag because this is causing you guys for some of y'all this is really 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 causing mental issues with you guys and for some of you all, you don't know which way to go, so it's causing you to become complacent of where you are already at. Some of y'all are also in your head about releasing the situation because the person is lazy. Someone doesn't want to put in effort, okay? And some of you guys, it's causing you to have a whole new vision, a whole new look at. Some of you guys are looking at things a whole different way. Others of you, you're releasing the burdens or what you view to be. As burdens around love, some of y'all have had unhealthy examples of love in your life. And I feel like some of you guys are clinging to the way when it comes to commitment, you, you guys know what your heart space feels like. There's a battle between the head and the heart. It's like you guys know what your heart space feels. However, it's like the perception that you have around what it is that you've seen. you like, hell no, throw it away. I don't want it, sis. And for some of you all, you have the 
opportunity to end a cycle that is very mentally exhausting and mentally burdensome. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with the sign of Gemini. But you have the the some of y'all are dealing with the sign of cancer, other than you, you're dealing with a Taurus, some of y'all are dealing with a damn Virgo, some of y'all are dealing with a damn you got nine. I just realized you got nine, nine, nine in this thing. Y'all are definitely ending cycles, completions. You're done done. They're trying to be done done, but you're overthinking some shit that's already inevitable, inevitably done done. Your guy's like, no, 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 Sash, there is nothing that's there. Nothing left. This person want to bleed you dry. Some of y'all are dealing with a narcissist. And you're done with that shit. All right, so let's get it. Three more messages that you have for my beautiful Sagittarius. Hmm. Some of y'all got anxiety about taking a leap of faith. This can have to do with a movement. Your heart is already there. Hell, your mind, everything is already there except your damn feeding ass. Some of y'all, you having a hard time with taking a leap of faith and communicating with somebody, releasing something that was going to tell. Yes, so you have a sag. Yeah, for some for some y'all this could be truth regarding um a family situation or truth regarding wanting to build something with somebody or regarding possibly or if you a sad man, the mother of your children, truth about a child. Hmm. For others of you, you want to make an offer. Okay, some of y'all, someone could, if you're dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo, this person could be trying to make some type of financial investment into your business. This person could also be also trying to come back and help financially for you. This person wants to do something with you. They want to nurture a situation, Sag, for you. What message do you have for that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Jumping off the table. J jumping off the table. Yes, yeah, somebody wants to offer this. They want to make an offer to you, Sag, okay? For some of you all, some of y'all are dealing with an uh, air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius, um, that wants to make this offer. Some of y'all are dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. This person could definitely be younger than you, okay? Someone is offering, some of y'all, someone is making an offer for you to come and live with them, which is kind of putting you in your head because you know you're not going to be able to cling to your old ways of doing things, even though love is what you want. You need to make a judgment call, okay? Some of y'all are making a decision on if you want to stay in a relationship with a Gemini Libra Aquarius or if you're actually going to move, have something new or restore a situation possibly with an Aries or a Taurus. Hold on, y'all. <clears throat> Hold on, Sage, baby. Okay. Well, all right. Okay. Yeah. Some of you guys, um, some of you guys could definitely be moving away from a marriage or moving away from a commitment or some type of ties. Some of y'all this could be a Libra, okay? Some of y'all have an Aries, a Leo, a Libra, or a Gemini who's your divine masculine or feminine. And I feel like some of you are kind of stuck between if I'm gonna choose something new, a past life soulmate or a past person or someone new. I feel like choosing the past days. Some of y'all going to have to experience a towel first if you're going to be choosing your past, okay? And some of y'all have a Scorpio that's trying to come in and shake your damn world up because you don't want to accept their damn offer. Instead, you want to move on and cut their ass off, possibly and move on to this damn Leo or go rework it out with your damn Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But you can expect to fight there, too, because some of y'all, this person have been stalking, watching, waiting for you to fuck up, okay? Or you another person. Ultimately, because somebody want, don't want to speak their damn truth and say, hey, I don't want this no more. I'm no longer fulfilled here. Okay, some of y'all is patiently waiting. <laughs> some of y'all is waiting to confront a Scorpio or a Scorpio waiting to confront you. Dude. And some of y'all scared to tell the counselor that you want to keep your damn options open and go into this new cycle by your lonely, by your lonely, because you be stressing me. So leave me alone. Because I want that new moon. <laughs> Some of y'all want that old thing back, possibly with an Aryan. Or that Aryan want that old thing back with you. I feel like this person, you look at this situation as being toxic. Um, or kind of, some of y'all don't know if you want to invest in a situation with someone. This could even be with the Capricorn for some of y'all. It's like, I love you, but you get on my damn nerves. And I just want to be happy. I want fulfillment. I want abundance out of a situation. I want to actually see some shit move and grow. This stagnancy city still make me want to keep my damn options open. And you're not even knowing, okay? Yeah, some of y'all just cutting off a Pisces. Some of y'all could also be communicating with a Pisces 
uh, regarding going into a new cycle. This could have to do with having children. Somebody want to have children like now, okay? <laughs> and you're going to get what the hell you want. Some of y'all don't know if you want it. Some sad man. Some of y'all need to choose a situation possibly between an Aries woman and an Aquarius woman, okay? Some of y'all have been trying to manifest this fire sign back, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like there may be no communication between you and this person, someone that is getting ready to change between now and the 31st, okay? I definitely see reconciliations happening that is going to cause some type of transformation in a union or a partnership, okay? This is have to do with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or any damn sign. Some of y'all are getting finessed and manipulated by a damn Gemini, okay? Or a Scorpio. I definitely feel like this person wants victory with you, but for some of y'all, this person is... I mean, you done done every damn thing else but ask them for their fucking social security number because they super dependent. I mean, you used to file this person on your damn income tax. Saggy, who are y'all fucking with? Who are these people? Okay? Some of y'all intuitively know that you need to go and transform, take the lead on the situation with transforming transforming some type of family dynamic. Possibly with, again, an Aries or a Taurus here. This person could be very intuitive or you're very intuitive. Some of y'all have a telepathic connection with someone who you feel as if only wants sex from you. Hmm. Somebody going back to go get their boo. I keep hearing, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Okay, so some of y'all, you could be hearing from a Capricorn towards Virgo. Ooh, Sag, somebody thought that they could do better, but better wasn't so up, <laughs> better than answer their phone. <laughs> better than get the call, sis. <laughs> Some of y'all intuitively knew that this person was going to have to come back and pay the pipe, okay? Others of you, others of you, you can, yeah, some of y'all are get, receiving communication. Some of y'all, the sign of Taurus, don't want to be by themselves. But they, they, they don't want to be by themselves. Sagi, they sorry. They sorry, Sag. They sorry. They're not going to talk to you crazy and tell you you ain't shit no more. Oh, somebody don't want to take out your money no more, Sag, but you don't trust them. <laughs> Some of you guys, I do see an apology coming in, possibly from an Aquarius or a Libra, okay? Or you, this person. For some of y'all, you got a new beginning coming in extremely fast, possibly with another fire sign. Strong emphasis on a Sagittarius, another Sagittarius. Some of you guys could also be reconciling with the fire sign, trying to lay a situation to rest where there was once drama. There's going to be a whole lot of loving and a whole lot of hot shit. Hot, hot, real hot girl, hot boy shit. <laughs> yeah, some of you guys have an opportunity to have new love, but you indecisive because of how you view commitment. Some of y'all looking at commitment as a, damn, as a damn burden. Like, listen, it's a lock up, sis. They're trying to lock me down. <laughs> They're trying to keep me stationary. I can't do what I want to do, sis. But spirit is saying, your head is saying, your head is, some of y'all head is choosing the ego during this time and wanting to hold on to a situation. Some of you guys are choosing to hold on to a water sign or earth sign who you could possibly have children with, okay? That's a good look because I like the energy with it. Others of you are choosing to hold. Yeah, whatever, whatever. If, if someone was holding on to their feelings uh, regarding a commitment or how they felt about somebody who they had a kid with or someone who they have a family with, I definitely feel like that is going to change, especially if this person is a water sign. Pretty much any sign because I see all signs here. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, there could be healing coming to a situation where there was once in um well, there was once indecision, indecisiveness, especially when it came to what you guys was going to do and how you were going to move after finding out about a third party situation. I feel like it caused a whole lot of anxiety. Someone kept reliving it over and over and over and again, over and over again. And Spirit is saying, release that burden, release that worry, okay? For some of you all, you have a brand new start and something that you really kind of wanted to work on after walking away and throwing a whole, a whole situation away, okay? So some of y'all could have been leaving the Capricorn and you're getting a new offer from a Virgo or a Taurus or other way around. I definitely feel like... The, with the new person, that it is worth putting in the effort for. I like their energy because overall, you in 
at abundance, okay? So take this new start because for some of you all, you don't know if you even want to invest in the aspect of love because it always affects your fucking money. But Spirit is saying this person is coming to add to your life, not take away from it, okay? For those of you who are dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I definitely feel like this is some type of reconciliation of some sort. I feel like there was once fighting and arguing and bickering. I feel like outside people had a whole lot to do with it. Oh, also, if you are dealing with that, that earth sign, you could be working with this person. So if you work with this person or somebody at work is starting to speak up and offer you on dates and want to try something new, it looks real good, Sag. Get out, there, get out of that whole mindset of, I don't sleep while I don't shit while I lay. I understand, but listen, the opportunity presents itself, and if only we had control over everything in our life, right? Right, okay? So y'all stop playing before I get the bill. Listen, others of you, let me make sure I got all the tea first. Yeah, and that earth sign could be younger than y'all. So you like, I don't know, you a little baby. You a little old baby. Mm. Some of y'all, I miss some of these air cards. Some of y'all got an air sign spying on y'all to see what the hell you doing with this earth sign that work at your job. You guys need to go in and check it. I don't know why I heard Google and Facebook. Somebody could also be trying to hack your account. This could be a water sign or an earth sign from your past trying to hack your damn accounts. Could also be an air sign. Strong Libra, strong Aquarius vibes. Could be Gemini too. Some of y'all got a Gemini going through your damn phone while you sleep. It's none of my business. Okay. But others of you. <laughs> Damn it, boy. <laughs> Those of you dealing with fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I feel like you, there's there's a reconciliation trying to happen, trying to occur with this person. The crazy part about it is that I got the king and queen one. This person is your mate. Some of y'all, you and this other person are kind of fighting this whole connection. Some of y'all are fighting you're fighting the damn desires within your damn self because some of y'all is really hot, hot to go get to go get back with this person, okay? Some of y'all trying to get this person that's super hot fire when you reconnect with them. Because I definitely feel like that's a reconciliation. For some of you all, that energy looks good as well. Just ignore the people on the outside. Because I definitely feel like some of y'all got a lot of haters in their union. Okay? For those of you who are dealing with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this person don't know what the fuck they want to do with their life. Some days they want to move on. Some days they want to move forward. They want to move on until you move on. Then they want their family back. For others of you... um, this has to do with, ooh, some of y'all dealing with, I got Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces here. So y'all got these water signs up in here deep. Some of y'all need to watch y'all back, especially with how you land. Some of y'all got a water sign that's trying to put a bonding spell on you. Yeah, I said that. I sure the fuck did. Watch what you, watch, watch how you, if you felt, if you feel as if you can't trust this person and you don't know why the hell you can't trust this person, listen. <laughs> some of y'all got this person that wants to reconcile with you to kind of put some type of comeback to me spell on your ass. Because they already intuitively have seen you. Some of y'all, this person could be a high priest or high priestess. This person I already know that you reconciling with this damn Libra, this Gemini, this Aries, or this damn Virgo. So they big mad and they ain't with the shits. But they can't change prophecy, the fuck? Some of y'all dealing with somebody with the initials B, J. Other than you, some of y'all dealing with somebody who has a name that starts with S, H, D, T, R, M, L, J. I think I said J. Some of you all, yeah, some of y'all intuitively know you're supposed to be moving towards this damn soulmate. However, there needs to be a towel moment, and I feel like the towel moment is actually the transformative energy around the dealings with this soulmate, okay? I do feel that your spirit is trying to take you guys into a new cycle, which has to do with commitment, a real damn relationship, which you actually been low-key manifesting while you was asking for abundance. You don't never know how it's coming. And some of y'all, it comes to get comes comes as a package, okay? Some of y'all could definitely be cutting off a damn air sign in order to have a new beginning with someone who's really worth it. Some of y'all could this could also be a fire sign. Some of y'all could be a damn Capricorn. You just not with the shits. You're separating yourself. You're focusing on your money for a lot of you all. Some of you guys are focusing on which way you want to go when it comes to your business and business. I feel like some of y'all Half of y'all are putting your focus in on putting your focus in on love. Like everything is good in my life, Mocha. Financially, I look good, but love is just really, really a headache for me because I don't know, you know, from week to week what the hell I'm feeling. As soon as I get on the right page, then this motherfucker get to acting a damn fool, and I'm really feeling like what is it, what is it in my life that keeps causing me to, you know, attract these continuous cycles? For some of y'all, it's this, it's this, it's this lack of the ability to receive. For some of y'all. 
for others of you, there's a need for you to heal childhood issues and childhood wounds when it comes to trusting the opposite sex with your heart, okay? And for some of y'all, you're dealing with a batshit motherfucker and you just can't make, you, you can't pick who you love. We can't always pick who we love, who we fall in love with. Some of y'all that fell in love with a crazy motherfucker. I mean, like, listen, and it's okay. You know, just take this motherfucker out in public at nighttime when, you know, after dark, after hours, after after hours, okay? Because they might clown your ass. Throw a damn plate at your ass or some shit because the, the girl around the corner looked at you or the, or the damn waitress over there, you know, she didn't wear glasses that day. So even though her eyes was cocked like a pistol, she thought she was looking at you or vice versa. He did. Crazy. Listen, Sash, who y'all dealing with, okay? Y'all let me know in the comments. This is what I have for you guys for the month of, um, for mid-month August. Y'all pray that this reading resonates. Y'all come and y'all usually be blowing me up. I love y'all. Y'all know y'all gonna catch me on the other side on Instagram, um, either today or tomorrow. We're doing them damn, uh, weekly generals, but I'm trying to roll out these damn mid months on time. So I love y'all very much. If you need a personal, hit me up. I will be, um, I had a sale on Instagram that actually still should be going on, but I'm actually going to move it over here to YouTube. So y'all be looking for that. Love y'all. Peace, love, blessings. Namaste.